I used this mask on my wash day and I had some experiences with it. Hi guys, welcome back once again to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something I promised you guys in my previous video when I deep condition my hair. So I know a lot of you are expecting this video, so this is it guys. And this is the product that I used on my wash day. I did show you guys. This is a conditioning repair mask from Balke Labs and it's called Curls and Naturals. I did not intend to use this. I didn't get what I was looking for, so I decided to just, you know, give it a try. A quick disclaimer, guys. This video is not sponsored by Balke or anybody or anyone. I'm not paid to do this video. I'm just saying and sharing out of my own experience. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I used this mask on my wash day and I had some experiences with it that I want to share with you guys. And if and if not, I'm going to be getting this product again. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the consistency of this mask. So my first impression with this was that it was too thick. So now you can feel like it's running because it's just coming out from a heat you know, environment. So that is why you even see it you know, moving. Initially, when I got this and I opened it, I did show you guys in that video. Um, it was very thick. It has like this pop consistency. So it's so thick. And I, that is one thing I don't like about that. So a few of you guys commented on that video that I should mix it with some water, which is true because in my first wash, I used this alone. But the second time I used this, I mixed it with a whole lot in me. So I enjoyed the second time I used this than the first time because the first time I was just applying it and it felt like it was just going somewhere I don't know <laughs> like even my hair was just sucking up everything I kept on applying that's why it's remaining like this I'm supposed to use this for at least four times and I've only used this for two times and this is what is left this is barely going to be enough for me for my next wash that's what I don't like about it but the smell it smells okay it's, it's not really that bad then the texture it felt like silk it, it made my hair feel sick actually so that is one feeling that i enjoyed about this i don't know i just like that silky feeling on my hair so this product really made my hair feel silky the ingredients contained in this product are water cyclopentacil Ah, guys i'm going to just drop the name in the screen and let you guys just go figure that spelling that pronunciation out because it spoke a lot about moisture keeping moisture keeping moisture so that was one of the reasons why i got it because i didn't see anything too bad in the ingredients apart from that second one which i'm not able to pronounce they did say that the first five ingredients of a product determines if it's going to be a moisturizing product or a protein based product so talking about water talking about glycerin cocoa seed butter i would say this is a moisturizing conditioning air max it does have protein hydrolyzed with protein down down you know on the ingredients so it's not one of the major ingredients in it but it definitely has a little bit of wheat protein there am i going to get this product again mm, no and the reason is not because it's not a great product i don't have anything against it either i'll give this product a six out of ten because i am not really crazy about it but it's still good like if you're just starting out and you just need something it's good if you have other deep conditioning air mask that you like to suggest for me please put it down in the comment section i like to try out a few conditioners this does not change my routine i still do my routine i still have my staple products this is just what i use on wash days to just give my hair that moisture boost but one thing i would like to say is that you can't determine the effectiveness of a product by just using once like it's not done you have to give that product at least six months to be able to see what it does to your hair if it's something good or not then you decide whether to ditch it or to embrace it so i see a lot of people just jump from one product to the other because they're looking for one product to give them a certain kind of feeling 
it doesn't happen that way guys you have to give products time to work on your hair and sometimes our hair don't like us using different things at different times so you want to make sure to give it some time then you now know if that thing works or not and because a lot of us be complaining that this product doesn't do this to my head and you see other people who are using it and it feels great for them it differs with individuals like we all have different hair types so don't expect it to behave the same way it does with my with yours that is it for me so i want to try out a few more deep conditioners and i want you guys to suggest a few for me in the comment section i'm going to put that in my community post so that i can get as much options as i can so i have a few in mind already which are popular but i still want to get the feedback from you guys and i'll see if it's something i can try out i hope you enjoyed this review this is also cost effective it's not too expensive it's not too cheap either yes i've used cheaper products than this so i got this for around four thousand plus in the supermarket and um that's about five dollars right now also so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and give this video as much love as you can give this channel entirely as much love as you can like i appreciate you guys for the comments for the likes for all your support so please let's move this channel forward i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye